This is just a spoiler, therefore, the picture will not be the same as the storyline. Thank you for your visit, enjoy listening to the radio. Chapter 345 Wu Dong Qian Kun As he stared at the jade scroll in his hand, Lin Dong could not help but mutter to himself. This Supreme Purity Sky Wanderer Steps was a level 8 martial art, and its rank could be considered passable. However, what caused Lin Dong to be a little moved was that this martial art was a type of agility martial art. Although the current Lin Dong's attack power was not strong, he had the ability to dodge. When fighting with others, there was a decent agility martial art that would allow one to remain invincible. However, this agility martial art was extremely rare in the Great Yan Empire. He never expected that the hemp-clothed old man would casually toss it to him. Lin Dong faintly shut his eyes as his mental energy invaded the Jade Scroll. Moments later, his eyebrows slightly furrowed. This Supreme Purity Skywanderer steps was indeed exceptionally mysterious. However, for some unknown reason, Lin Dong felt as if he had not fully comprehended it yet. It was as if this martial art was merely a fragment of a manual. Hey, do you really think that old fellow will be so kind as to give you the complete martial art? While Lin Dong was furrowing his eyebrows, the small Martin once again appeared and mocked. This Supreme Purity Skywanderer Steps is considered a rather decent martial art in Nine Heavens Supreme Purity Palace. If it was in its complete form, it would definitely be at the manifestation level. Do you think that old fellow will use a manifestation level martial art to exchange for a rubbed soul symbol? So what if it's an incomplete version? Have you forgotten the stone talisman's martial art imitation ability? Lin Dong gently smiled. If it was someone else, they would perhaps find it troublesome. However, he had the stone talisman and it was most suitable for this incomplete martial art. Based on your strength, it will not be an easy task to activate the stone talisman to perfect a manifestation level martial art. The small Martin shook its head and said. No matter how difficult it is, there will always be a time of success. Lin Dong chuckled. Soon after, his expression turned a little more solemn as he stared at the small Martin and asked, Where is Nine Heavens Supreme Purity Palace from? It seems to be very powerful. When it heard this name, Lil Martin's expression turned solemn. It was silent for a moment, before it said, Not only are they strong, even at my peak, I was somewhat fearful of them. Their enormity is not something that you can imagine. The four great clans and even the great Yan Empire that you have seen, in their eyes, are just like floating islands. Upon hearing these words, Lin Dong's heart immediately trembled. Ever since he met the small Martin, this fellow had always been fearless. It was rare for it to take the initiative to say such words. It seems like this so-called Nine Heavens Supreme Purity Palace was truly a rather terrifying existence. Nine Heavens Supreme Purity Palace has quite a strong reputation in this world. To put it bluntly, your great Yan Empire does not even have the qualifications to be associated with them. With just a thought from the experts from Nine Heavens Supreme Purity Palace, the great Yan Empire will collapse. Little Martin shook his head and said, This old man's strength can only be considered ordinary in the Nine Heavens Supreme Purity Palace. Lin Dong gently sucked in a breath of cold air. Nirvana stage strength could only be considered ordinary in Nine Heavens Supreme Purity Palace. Wasn't this faction a little too terrifying? If it was truly as Little Martin had said, Lin Dong did not doubt that the sect possessed the terrifying strength to destroy the Great Yan Empire with a flip of their palms. After all, just a single Nirvana stage practitioner was enough to turn the Great Yan Empire upside down. Furthermore, there were definitely practitioners even stronger than that in the Nine Heavens Supreme Purity Palace. You will know about this sect in the future. However, there is no need for that now. You have no dealings with them. This incident was merely an accident. The small Martin waved its claws as it comforted Lin Dong. Lin Dong let out a bitter laugh. This world was indeed too vast. What he had seen was merely the tip of the iceberg. Today's encounter had made him understand the importance of strength. If he did not have the trump card of the blood soul puppet, he would likely be an ant-like existence in the eyes of the hemp garment old man. The latter would directly take him away and when it came time to snatch away the soul talisman, he would not be compensated with anything. That was because in his eyes, Lin Dong's strength could not even withstand a single blow. Did a lion need to reason with a sheep? The so-called fairness could only be displayed when one's strength was used to set off one's strength. 
Originally, Lin Dong was a little pleased with himself because of his reputation in Great Desolate Province. However, at this moment, that little smugness completely disappeared. Even though his strength had soared, he was still too weak in front of a truly powerful practitioner. Furthermore, because he had obtained a godly object like the devouring ancestral symbol, he needed even more power to protect himself. Huff. Lin Dong deeply exhaled as his eyes gradually turned resolute. He possessed the potential to become stronger and he was confident that his future would not lose out to anyone. The next time they met, he would let the hemp garment old man know how wise it was for him to not make such a rash decision today. Go, let's leave this place. As he stared at the utterly destroyed mountain range, Lin Dong no longer had any plans to continue resting. Even though the hemp garment old man had already left, Lin Dong was still worried. Immediately, he leapt onto Little Flame's back. Without waiting for him to say anything, Little Flame let out a low growl as it flapped its blood wings, transforming into a flash of blood light as it swiftly left the area. After they left, the mountain range, which had been completely destroyed, once again became silent. Lin Dong's worries did not materialize in the end. Evidently, his performance had completely dispelled the hemp garment old man's interest in him. Furthermore, with the existence of the blood soul puppet, the old man understood that if he truly wanted to plot against Lin Dong, even if he succeeded, he would have to pay a hefty price. Furthermore, before he was certain that Lin Dong possessed the devouring ancestral symbol, he was absolutely unwilling to pay such a price. However, even though he no longer felt like he was being followed, Lin Dong practically did not stop for the next few days. Instead, he allowed Little Flame to push its speed to the limit as they frantically rushed towards the Great Yan Province. This frantic rush lasted for an entire week, before Lin Dong gradually heaved a sigh of relief. Right now, he was already far away from the Great Desolate Province. Along the way, he had even passed through a huge province city. At such a distance, even the hemp garment old man would not be able to track him. After he was certain that he was safe, Lin Dong found a safe place and rested for two days, before he once again set off towards the Great Yan Province. Perhaps it was because the hemp garment old man's appearance had greatly stimulated Lin Dong. As he hurried along, Lin Dong did not waste even the slightest bit of time. Instead, all of his time was invested in cultivation. While he was hurrying along, he gradually mastered the Supreme Purity Skywanderer steps that he had obtained. When he executed the martial art, his figure also became much more ethereal, causing one to be unable to track him down. All in all, Lin Dong was rather satisfied with the Supreme Purity Skywanderer steps. After all, it was still a manifestation level martial art. Even though it was only an incomplete version, it was still not something that an ordinary grade 8 martial art could compare to. Of course, while he was practicing the Supreme Purity Skywanderer steps, Lin Dong did not slack off on his other martial arts. That day at the mysterious Black Yin Mountain Peak, he had successfully killed Tang Sha and devoured his essence, Qi and spirit. That devouring also included many of Tang Sha's memories, including the various secret arts and martial arts that he had practiced. Among those martial arts, Lin Dong finally found what he was looking for. That was the quasi-manifestation level martial art that Tang Sha had previously executed, the Great Desolate Ocean Splitting Seal. This martial art was also obtained by Tang Sha from the Great Wasteland's ancient tablet and its power was extremely formidable. Even though it was not a true manifestation level martial art, it was still not something that an ordinary grade 9 martial art could compare to. With regards to this kind of martial art that could raise his battle power, Lin Dong naturally would not give up. While he was hurrying along, he split his attention into two. While he practiced the Supreme Purity Skywanderer steps, he did not forget about the Great Desolate Ocean Splitting Seal. Furthermore, along with the numerous demonic beasts along the way, Lin Dong had many opportunities to use actual combat to temper his newly acquired martial art. That way, his martial art progress would be rather swift. Under this kind of bitter training, Lin Dong's battle power also slowly climbed day by day. In this one month, Lin Dong was once again like a wild man as he traversed over mountains and ravines. As he walked between the mountains, he received the tempering of nature in heaven. In this one month, Lin Dong had traversed almost half of the Great Yan Empire. Along the way, 
he passed by several large provinces. However, he only stopped in a hurry. That was because the time was getting increasingly tight. Right now, the Great Yan province was probably already in an uproar because of the Lin clan gathering, which was enough to shake the entire Great Yan Empire. Countless practitioners swarmed over from all directions in hopes of witnessing the splendor of the younger generation of the Lin clan, one of the four great clans of the Great Yan Empire. This clan gathering was an enormous event for the entire Great Yan province. That was because everyone knew that the one who stood out in the clan gathering would definitely become an all-powerful figure in the Great Yan Empire in the future. Therefore, in this clan gathering, not only would there be top factions from all over the Great Yan Empire, even the royal family would be present. From this, one could tell just how valuable the Lin clan's clan gathering was in the Great Yan Empire. While the entire Great Yan province was in an uproar because of the upcoming Lin clan gathering, a travel-worn figure finally slowly walked out from a deep mountain at the border of the Great Yan province. As he gazed at the enormous province, a faint smile spread across his face. Lin clan, Lin Langtian, I, Lin Dong, have arrived. Chapter 346 Wu Dong Qian Kun The Great Yan Province This was the most prosperous province in the Great Yan Empire. This was because the Great Yan Province was also known as the Imperial Province. The Yan capital of the Great Yan Empire was located in this enormous province city. In terms of size, the Great Yan Province was perhaps not as vast as the Great Desolate Province. However, this was the place where the strongest practitioners gathered in the Great Yan Empire. Moreover, some of the top factions in the Great Yan Empire were also located here. Compared to these factions, the Ghastly Puppet Cult, the Great Devil Sect and the others in the Great Desolate Province were indeed a little inferior. From a certain point of view, the Great Yan Province could be said to be the heart of the Great Yan Empire. When Lin Dong walked out of the deep mountains and gazed at the province before him, there was an indescribable feeling in his heart. In the eyes of many branch family members of the Lin clan, the Great Yan province was the holy land in their hearts. Many branch family members worked hard their entire lives in order to shed their status as branch family members and become true members of the Lin clan. This included Lin Dong's grandfather, Lin Zhenshen. However, Lin Dong did not feel this emotion too strongly, he did not have much respect for the enormous Lin clan, instead, he felt a sense of unfamiliarity. If it was not for Lin Xiao and Lin Zhenshen, as well as the numerous grudges between him and Lin Langtian, Lin Dong would not even bother to participate in this so-called clan gathering. However, there were no ifs in this world. The current him was very much looking forward to the clan gathering. Two years ago, in the old tomb, Lin Langtian's aura alone was able to oppress Lin Dong into a miserable state. However, now, perhaps the pressure from his aura was no longer able to make Lin Dong's body tremble in the slightest. After two years of experience, he was no longer the young man who needed to hide his hatred for Lin Langtian in his heart. Let's go, we'll directly head to Lin City. The clan gathering should begin tomorrow. It's quite a rush, but I think we should be able to make it in time. After calming the churning emotions in his heart, Lin Dong faintly smiled. The tip of his foot tapped the ground as his figure transformed into a wisp of green smoke. As his figure streaked across the sky, a red light dashed out from behind and directly carried him. Soon after, like a bolt of lightning, he violently flew towards the direction of Lin City. There were two main cities in the Great Yan Province. One was the Imperial City, where Yan Jing was located, and the other was Lin City, where the Lin Clan was located. For Lin City to be able to stand side by side with the Imperial City, one could tell what kind of status the Lin clan had in the Great Yan Dynasty. Lin City was situated in the northwest of the Great Yan Province. It was also located in a bustling area with convenient transportation. This city was also the true top city in the Great Yan Empire. Regardless of its grandeur or prosperity, there were less than a handful of cities in the entire Great Yan Empire that could compare to it. Currently, Lin City was practically the most popular place in the entire Great Yan Empire. Countless experts and factions swarmed over from all directions, causing the human traffic in Lin City to reach a rather terrifying level. Of course, the reason why it was so popular was naturally because of the Lin clan's clan meeting that was being held today. At this clan meeting, the younger generation of the Lin clan, as well as all the members of the branch families, would display their prowess. As for the victor, 
his name would instantly shake the world. No one had ever doubted the worth of the Lin clan meeting. That was because, in the past clan meetings, those who stood out in the end were now the pinnacle figures of the Great Yan Empire. Lin City was extremely vast and majestic. The city walls that were several hundred feet tall extended outwards, directly reaching a place where one could not see. Inside and outside the city, there were elite Lin clan guards everywhere. These guards all had a long and steady aura, and their eyes were sharp. Evidently, they were well trained. In Lin City, no matter which faction one belonged to, they would have to restrain themselves. That was because this was the Lin clan's territory. From a certain point of view, this was the Lin clan's private territory, and not a part of the Great Yan Empire. At the center of Lin City, there was an enormous battle arena that caused one's expression to change. The battle arena occupied an area of nearly 10,000 feet, and was majestic and majestic. A majestic aura soared towards the heavens, causing one to be unable to help but sigh in admiration. This enormous battle arena, which could hold a million people, was the place where the Lin clan's most important clan meeting was held. At this moment, the incomparably large battle arena was already packed to the brim with people. The black mass of people spread out as countless voices converged together. In the end, they soared into the clouds, and even the clouds high up in the sky were forcefully torn apart. The battle arena was divided into an inner and outer area. The outer area was for ordinary people, while the inner area was for the various reputable practitioners and famous factions in the Great Yan Empire. In this area, one could practically see most of the top factions in the Great Yan Empire. Even in the entire Great Yan Empire, there were not many factions that had such rallying power. The central area of the battle arena was especially peculiar. This was not an ordinary plaza, but an extremely large conical area. This area was narrow on the ground and wide on the bottom. Above it, there were hundreds of huge squares crisscrossing each other. These squares were clearly divided, and the higher one went, the fewer the number of squares. In particular, at the highest point, it was almost at the same level as the enormous battle arena, and there was only one square there. Obviously, the people that participated in the clan meeting had to charge all the way up from the plaza at the bottom and battle it out with their final opponent on the plaza at the top. At this moment, there were already figures flashing and crisscrossing on that peculiar area within the battle arena. Waves of vigorous Yuan power undulations erupted. Evidently, this time's clan meeting had already begun. Zan City branch family, Lin Dongtian wins. Lin clan, Lin Hua wins. The atmosphere in the enormous battle arena was fiery to the extreme. Countless gazes converged on these young men from the Lin clan and branch family. Every time a deep and powerful shout rang out, deafening cheers would echo out from within the battle arena. That was because this was the sound of the victor being decided. Bang! In a certain area, vigorous Yuan power suddenly erupted. Soon after, two figures crisscrossed, and one of them was directly blown away. In the end, he directly flew out of the arena, and viciously landed on the ground. Immediately, a mouthful of fresh blood spurted out. Lin Clan, Lin Yang wins. Yan City branch family, Lin Hong loses. Quote. Upon hearing the cold shout that rang out, countless gazes instantly shot towards the figure that was blown out of the arena. Among them, there was no lack of mockery and ridicule. Creep. Under these gazes, the figure that landed on the ground immediately clenched his fists. Useless branch family trash, you still want to compete with this young master. Humph, you are from the Yan City branch family right? Your branch family has produced a very arrogant Lin Dong? Truly a piece of trash that doesn't know the immensity of the heavens and earth, to actually dare to offend big brother Lin Langtian. Let me tell you, hey, let me leak some news to you. In this clan gathering, your Yan City branch family will not even pass the first round. On the arena, a young man dressed in embroidered clothes sneered as he looked at the figure below and mocked. You better obediently scram back to that broken place Yan City and tell that trash called Lin Dong that there are some people that he cannot afford to offend. You are the fucking trash. The figure suddenly lifted his head, his eyes blood red. That familiar face, it was Lin Hong. At this moment, he was incomparably furious as he stared at the young man who was looking down on him from above. His figure moved and was about to charge onto the arena. However, in the next instant, 
a gust of wind rushed towards his head and directly sent him flying. You have already lost the match, you do not have the qualifications to step onto the arena again. Beside the young man, a middle-aged man appeared in a flash. He coldly glanced at Lin Hong and said. Lin Hong crawled up from the ground, just as he was about to crazily charge forward again, two arms stopped him. Tilting his head to look, he saw that it was actually Lin Zhenchen and the rest. Grandfather, as he gazed at Lin Zhenchen, Lin Hong could not help but lower his head in shame. Sit back down first, Lin Zhenchen's body seemed to be slightly trembling. The mocking gazes that shot towards him from all around made him feel as if he had once again returned to that day eight years ago. Thankfully, he had experienced too much and his aged face did not show much of a change. However, Lin Hong could still hear a trace of helplessness in his voice. Under the gloating gazes of the crowd, the group slowly turned around and returned to a very remote corner where they had been arranged. From this position, one could tell that their status here was far too low. When Lin Hong returned to his seat, he saw another figure also sitting there. Immediately, he was stunned as he asked, Lin Sha, you lost. That figure lifted her head, a bitter smile appearing on her pretty face as she softly sighed and said, You guys don't have to be too concerned. This time, it's not your fault. We were the ones who were targeted. Lin Zhenshin sighed and said, Father, what do you mean? Upon hearing these words, Lin Xiao and the rest's expressions immediately changed as they asked. Didn't you see? Lin Hong and Lin Xia's opponents were all from the main clan. Furthermore, they had all advanced to the form creation stage. This kind of situation does not occur often. Lin Zhenshin bitterly laughed as he said. Furthermore, look at the seats they arranged for us. They are basically the worst out of all the branch families. Right now, among our four spots, Dong Er has yet to appear. Next, we can only depend on that last Qingtan. These two years, her improvement is not inferior to Dong Er's. Lin Zhenshin lifted his head, as his gaze turned towards a distant plaza. There, stood a slender and elegant figure dressed in light green. Her agile figure was just like a fairy, becoming a beautiful sight in this large plaza. Right now, only Qingtan had yet to be defeated in the Lin family. Father, don't worry, when Dong Er returns, all the humiliation will be repaid. Lin Xiao gently patted Lin Zhenchen's shoulder as he said in a low voice. When he heard this name, a gratified smile appeared on the old man's aged face as he slowly nodded his head. He was waiting, Lin Xiao was waiting, everyone was waiting. Waiting for that person to return. At that time, they would be able to hold their heads high. I am also waiting, currently, I recommend 3200. There is still 4800 left until the third round. 